Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to show some of the sensors and the readings they display on the Intelligent Brick. I have LEGO Mindstorm's EV3 31313, which comes with a color sensor, a touch sensor, and an infrared sensor with a remote slash beacon. There are other sensors available if you have the educational set, or they can be purchased on their own. These are the gyroscopic sensor, the ultrasonic sensor, and sound sensor. The brick itself has sensors built into it such as the timer sensor that detects time and the buttons if pressed produce different values and even the motors have sensors to track how many rotations or degrees the motor has traveled. The first sensor I will connect is the color sensor. First I will move to port view Then I connect the color sensor to the EV3 using the supplied RJ12 cable. The EV3 will detect the sensor and start displaying readings right away. I then select color sensor using the mat that came with the 31313 kit. It will show the readings of different colors using number values between 0 and 7. Black is 1, blue is 2, green is 3, and so on. I will then change the setting to read reflected light intensity, which displays values as a number between 0 and 100, 0 being the darkest and 100 the lightest. The next sensor I will show is the touch sensor. Once again, I set the EV3 to port view and connect the touch sensor using the supplied cable. I used port 2 this time. As you can see, the value is 0. When I press the sensor, it changes to 1. The last sensor I will show is the infrared sensor and the infrared remote slash beacon. Once again, I select port view and connect the sensor using the supplied cable. I have used port 4. I set it to proximity, and as you can see, it displays a number as a percentage. The closer the object, the lower the value. The farther the object, the higher the value.
You can also use the infrared sensor with the infrared remote as an infrared beacon. It will display a number based on the angle of the location of the beacon. As you can see, the beacon is to the left of the sensor. It will display a negative number. If it is located to the right, a positive number. The closer the value is to zero, means the beacon is close to the center. The remote can also be used as a remote. When set to this function, you can see that as the buttons are pushed, a corresponding number is displayed on the brick. The buttons can be used to operate motors, activate sounds, etc. I hope you found this video helpful. Please like and subscribe to be notified about new videos. Please check the description below for EV3 related links. Please leave tips and suggestions for other users in the comment section below. Thank you.